Praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. We give God the glory. We give God the honor. We give God the adoration. Our Savior, our Master, the one who loves us, who loves us so much. He gave his life for us. He shed his blood on Calvary. Washed us with the blood of cleansing. Made us to be partakers of eternal life. Wrote our names in the book of life. Adopted us into his family. Gave us rights. Joint heirs are we. And being joined heirs, we are heirs of all his promises, heirs of the Father. Heavenly Father, we magnify you this morning. We celebrate your goodness, your grace, your power, your, your awesomeness, which extends to the highest heavens. We bless you today. We praise you today. Thank you. Thank you for touching our lives, for saving us, for delivering us. For your power at work, we magnify you. Let the heavens open upon your people today. Let this morning be very special. Let someone have a testimony. Let them be able to praise you. We thank you. We thank you. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Welcome to today's morning glow. This very special 27th September. And a very special birthday celebration to my wife, Pastor Yemisi Ashimlowo. We praise the Lord for you, for blessing the Lord, for the hand of the Lord on your life, for the grace of God, for the hand of God, for the power of God. I've known my wife since she was 18. Jesus, man, that's a long time. No, I'm not even 18. I think it was even before she did A-levels. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Like 16 or 17. Wow. I want to bless God for you. I want to thank God for you. We pray blessings, favor, grace upon grace. The hand of God never ceasing in your life. Thank you for being such an awesome, wonderful person. Awesome, wonderful wife. Awesome, wonderful mother. Awesome, wonderful grandmother, pastor. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, you make decisions in life. And there are some decisions that can make or break you. One of the best decisions I ever made was the decision to marry Pastor YMC. Oh, Jesus, man, I don't even think I could have come this far. Neither do I think that I've probably known this level of blessing on my life. Because it just takes Noah. I want Jonah to sink your boat. And it takes one person to keep it floating. She's a prayer warrior, a lover of God, a seed sower. Totally committed. Bless the Lord. Praise God. So we look forward to 100 years, 100 plus in strength and grace and sound mind. Praise God. Longevity runs in her family and it shall run in her life. Not only that, uh, her parents knew the Lord before they had her. Praise God. Amazing. What a heritage. So the heritage of the righteous will always be a good heritage, a good heritage. David said, I have goodly heritage. Praise God. I may the blessing on you also extend to everyone on morning glow this morning. Praise God. Welcome everyone this morning. We trust the Lord that you will be blessed, you will be favored. We'll have to welcome all of you from wherever you've joined us today. May today be special to you. May it be really awesome in your life in Jesus' name. Wherever you have joined from, let us know. And uh, let us be able to celebrate you. Let us be able to thank God for you. To God be all the glory. Uh, please don't forget to invite your friends to be part of Morning Glow today. Send them the link. Make it a morning habit. Send the link. Send the link. Send the link. The Kula Georgia. God bless you this morning. Cools then and sorry. Be blessed and all favored. Richmond Hill. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Uh, Paddock, Paddock Wood or so. God bless you richly. Jesus' name. Gabaroni Botswana. Blessings. Uh, 
Portsmouth blessings, Queens in New York. The Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus, you'll never go down. Hampshire, Basingstoke in Hampshire. God bless you this morning. Praise the Lord. Sacramento, California. The Lord bless you. Abel Kuta, Nigeria. Be blessing our favorite barking in Essex. Blessings on you. Uh, Hewitson Garden in Smithwick. Blessings on you. Madina in Accra. Be blessed and highly favored in the name of Jesus. Sally Edosha. Kaya. Hounslow Southwest. Be blessed, be favored. Jalango in Nigeria. God bless you. Little Lambton, West Sussex. Be blessed, be favored. Camberwell. The Lord bless you richly. Reda Tosho Kaya. Teko Zorotale. Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. The Lord bless you richly. Luxembu. Blessings. Nairobi, Kenya, Kenya, blessings, Kumasi in Ghana, Leeds in the UK, Spintex Road, Accra, in the name of Jesus, get ready to be blessed this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus, get ready, let the word of the Lord bless you, Perflict in Essex, blessings. Ipswich in Suffolk, blessings. Praise God. Braintree in Essex, Dubai. The Lord bless you, Dubai. Gaborone, Botswana. Blessings. Liverpool in Merseyside. Uh, Barking in Essex, blessings. Ikorodu in Lagos. Yes, we're coming to that city in November. With a great invasion of the Holy Spirit. Canada waters in London. That is in the Docklands. May you be blessed and favored this morning. May you be lifted in Jesus' name. Clapton, London blessings. Praise the Lord. Thank God for you. Round Rock, Texas. The Lord bless you. The Lord touch you. The Lord lift you. The Lord show his grace. May the blessings of the Lord flow from this place to you today. Middleton Cork in Ireland, the Lord bless you richly. Uh, glory to God. Hoxton and Hackney, blessings on you. Sorry. We're in sorry now. Sutton in sorry. God bless you richly. Gwarimpa in Abuja, Nigeria. Blessings to you. Uh, Coventry, blessings. Uh, LOD, God bless you in France. Uh, blessings on all of you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, Warwickshire. Blessings, Tedford in Norfolk. God bless you. Mill Hill. Mill Hill, that's Northwest London. The Lord bless you this morning. Richly, 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 richly. Wood Green, Woodford Green, the Lord bless you today. We'd like to celebrate, appreciate, thank God for each one of you. We we'll pray blessings on you. You will never fail. You will never be put to shame. You will never be disappointed. You will be a kazere rosha. Ika liri ke kotayal. It's going to be a season of victory, a season of testimony, a season of glory in your life. Lansing in Michigan, the Lord bless you richly this morning. May the power of God's word transform your life. We'd like to welcome everyone who's joining us this morning. We pray blessings. We pray grace. We pray honor. We pray deliverance in Jesus' name. For the benefit of those who are just joining us who may not know, since the beginning of the week, we have been just making declarations into your life for many reasons. Number one, we're still in the, in the ember months. We're, in fact, still in the first of the ember months, today, 27th of September. I cannot forget 27th of September. I must not be in trouble with somebody. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Not only 
the ember months also we are right now in starting 40 days of fasting praying for our Ikorodu outreach want to celebrate all of you who have reached out may the lord really 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 prosper you whether it's a small seed or a big seed you are making a difference you are touching lives you are doing something oh daddy kesha keko zorota expectations are very high and the god who never disappoints will himself move mightily this morning we've been prophesying we've been i mean we've been prophesying on and we've been declare, declaring into people's life. And we're going to continue the same this morning. Why? Because there's power in the word. There's power in the word. In Jeremiah 23, verse 29, 30, it says, It's not kayete kaleboroso kayete risha. It's not my word like fire, declares the Lord, and like a hammer which shatters a rock. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, declared the Lord, who steal my word from each other. <laughs> it's not my word like fire. This word is so strong. It is telling us that, look, the word of the Lord is like fire. It is not a general word. It is not a regular word. God's word is not Shakespearean, it's not a play, it is not Aristotelian, it is not a philosophy, it is not the words of Pythagoras, it's not a combined of philosophy and science, it is not Cicero, it is not the nice word of any poet, it is not the critical essays of Wally showing card and Nobel laureate who also says he doesn't have time for God this is the word of the Lord what does the word of God do so when we prophesy it into your life what will it do number one the word reveals the word reveals it is the word of God that has the power to reveal to us certain things that we could not know in any other way and uh, many of you, some of you who have contacted me have sent and said, you come to morning glow, it's like you are prophesying, you saw the dream I had, you heard the word I heard, you, it's like you know what, I mean, you word for word precisely where I am, what I'm going through, that's the word. If it is not so, then it is not God. There are days I'm coming, I've even prepared mine, and then he will change it. Or there are times he will say, go and do this. Praise the Lord. And so the, the word of God revealed this universe. The word of God revealed uh, the challenges of Adam's falling into sin. It wouldn't have been obvious if it were not for the word. The word of God, is the, it has the power to reveal. The power to reveal. Glory to God. He will reveal every, every danger, reveal every disaster. The word has the power to reveal even the things you want to hide. The word of God has the power to reveal. The word of God also, number two, has the power to refute and say, no, I cancel every lie. God's word is a standard against philosophies. We live at a time that the world has become ultra libertinian. If it feels good, they do it. In fact, in the West today, particularly Europe and America, if there's anything some people are busy going about banning, is the Bible and anything that draws from the Bible, although they are jokers. They don't know that the very constitution, the laws they've written, did not emanate from human thinking. It came originally, and the original writers wrote it from a Christian perspective. There's no book on earth that gives humans human rights except the Bible. None. None. Even we as human beings, we think we know and understand human rights. You can't without the Bible. The Bible has the power 
to refute every argument, every lie. It eliminates every philosophy. Any man can say anything. Science will come up and say, we have now found that some people, they are men, there's a woman in them. Let that woman come forth. The word of God has the power to refute such things. God can refute spiritual concepts, moral problems. The word of God can refute lies from the pit of hell. And remember, John 8, 44, the Bible calls the devil lie, a liar and the father of lies. <laughs> and right now, he is manufacturing lies from his factory and pouring it into our world. The word of God has the power to reveal. It has the power to refute. The word of God has the power to reproduce. Jesus said the word of God is like a seed. A seed. The word was planted in honest and obedient. When it is planted in honest and obedient hearts, it reproduces. When we speak, be healed, it will reproduce. It will make happen that healing, that deliverance, that favor, that joy. May the word of God in your life today reproduce your dream, reproduce your vision. God will say, be fruitful, multiply. That is a reproductive word, reproductive word. Be fruitful, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I am so convinced that God has spoken to every micro seed from the smallest mustard seed to the biggest egg of the largest animal. You, the seed, carry life. The seed reproduces after its kind because God has put power inside that seed. Likato zoina makari, generiko sukaravarita lirike rozo, radidosh kayedi kavroze tiliriba karadi. Be fruitful. May the word reproduce in your life. 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 The word of God has power. Aye ka ti ti ta ra 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 ra. Rozo ka yi ta 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 le do. Ri ka ri ta ri ra ra ra. The word of God also has the power to redirect your life. Somebody, you are on the platform today, feels like you are lost, things are not working. The word will redirect you to success. The word will redirect you to joy. The word will redirect you to testimony. The word will redirect you to glory. The word will redirect you into the fold of God. First Peter chapter 1, verse 25 says, For you were continually straying like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your soul. So the word has the power to redirect your life. It redirects you to improve, to live holy, to live clean, to live in the will of God, to live after the counsel of God, to live after the purpose of God. The word of God has the power to redirect you from nonsense belief to believing in God. C.S. Lewis. The writer of the book, the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe was an atheist. He hated God, and he was also a professor at Oxford University. Boom! He heard the word. The word redirected him back to God, and he began to honor Jesus in his writing. This morning, the word of the Lord will redirect your life, redirect your life, redirect your life. Redirect your vision, reproduce the purpose, the counsel of God in your life. The word of the Lord will reveal the things you need to know. It will make the things of Jesus known to you. The word of the Lord will cause you not to fail. You will not fail. You will not fail. You will not fail. In the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord will be revealed will be revealed in your life in jesus name for those of you who have just joined us 
we have been just making declarations, declarations. And this morning again, I stand in the place of declaration. And I believe that the power of life and death is in the tongue. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. The word I speak into your life today will become the reality of your life. They will become the reality of your life. Zika Erosha, Rika, with the tongue today we will write your victory. In the name of Jesus. I say with the tongue today we will write your destiny to blessing. Amen, 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 amen. The Bible says in Isaiah, in Psalm 45, verse 1, My heart is indicting a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made, touching the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Father, anoint this tongue of clay. Anoint this mouth that the declarations that will be made into the life of your people will become their reality, their victory, their testimony. They will walk in the victory. They will walk in the testimony. They will walk in the glory. They will walk in the healing. They will walk in the breakthrough. They will walk in the turnaround. They will walk in the... Your power will touch them. Your healing will touch them. Your deliverance will touch them. Tale sekoya, tele kabasa, tero toro tadididida, ranoshka, kerisha, kayeda bakata, this morning upon the word of God I stand and I prophesy to somebody's life who is on this altar I declare and decree that every affliction of failure comes to an end. Nahum verse 9, affliction shall not rise a second time. Every affliction of failure we cancel, we cancel, we cancel, we cancel. In your life afflictions of failure are cancelled. 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 They are cancelled. They are cancelled. Any affliction that has held you, we break its power. We cancel its power. Afflictions of failure are cancelled. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare it this morning. 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 Affliction. You will be a stranger to afflictions of failure. In place of failure, you will succeed. Wherever Jesus steps into, failure turns to success. He stepped into the boat of Peter. The boat of failure became the boat of success. I declare and decree this morning that your boat becomes the boat of success. The boat of blessing, the boat of favor, the boat of testimony, the boat of a turnaround in the mighty name of Jesus. No more failure in the name of Jesus. This morning I prophesy into your life every mental affliction, every mind affliction, the enemy wanting to confuse you, wanting to disturb you, wanting to redirect your life into, into utter failure. Today we cancel by the blood. Afflictions of the mind, we break you free from it. We break you free from it. Afflictions of the mind, we break you free from it. We break you free from it. Afflictions of the mind, we break you free from it. 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 Afflictions of the mind, we break you free from it. We break you free from it. We break you free from it. Afflictions of the mind, every mental affliction. Every affliction of the mind, the Lord Jesus sets you free from it today. In Jesus' name. Every affliction of missed opportunities. You're always missing opportunities. Every affliction of missed opportunities. This morning, we set you free from it. We bring you victory. We set you free from it. We bring you victory. We set you free from it. We bring you victory. Every missed opportunity will turn around to a greater opportunity. Some people have that affliction. They are always missing their favor, missing their turnaround, 
mission, their opportunities. Katale, Shatare, Rekosa, Tariko Sote, Riko Tali, Rakusiara. Ah! From today, you will not miss your breakthrough. You will not miss your visitation. You will not miss your day of visitation. You will not miss your day of visitation. Father, I anoint somebody's hand this morning and I prophesy into their life. They will not miss their day of visitation. 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 Naikarosha, Rikasa Libara, Rike Kosokaya, Talira Makata, Ralosho Kayara. You will not miss your day of visitation. I speak into your life this morning. You will not miss your day of visitation. Everyone who's on this platform today who was experiencing the affliction of wrong choices, wrong decisions. All the time you are making wrong choices, choosing wrong people, connecting with wrong people, making wrong decisions, being in wrong places. Today, we break you free from that tendency. You will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. You will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. May the voice of direction be clear to you in this season. This last four months before the end of the year, September, October, November, December, may you hear the voice of the Lord clearly. May you hear the voice of the Lord clearly. May you hear the voice of the Lord clearly. May you hear the voice of the Lord clearly. May you hear the voice of the Lord clearly. May you hear the voice of the Lord clearly. May you hear the voice of the Lord clearly. May you hear the voice of the Lord clearly. May you hear the voice of the Lord clearly. Nariri rosa, karire mante, rabaro dosia, rikita lire bara rira rira rara rira rara 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 May you hear the voice of the Lord clearly. May you hear the voice of the Lord clearly. May you hear the voice of the Lord clearly. In the season of your life. I prophesy into your life, I make a declaration into your life this morning. That every affliction of wrong choices, wrong decisions wrong connection we sever you from it wrong choices wrong association wrong connections wrong associations wrong decisions wrong choices some of them to please man and we end up in the midst of trouble we free you today we free you today we free you today we free you today. This morning, this altar I prophesy into your life. Every affliction of continuous opposition, continuous opposition is a terrible mark. There are some people who carry the mark of opposition. Paul said, from now on, let no man trouble me for I bear my body the mark of the Lord Jesus. There are some people that's the thing they carry. That's the kind of mark on them the mark of opposition somebody somewhere is always opposing them they just seem to attract opposition every opposition every voice from the Pit of hell that have made itself an opposer of your destiny, an opposer of your blessing, an opposer of your future, an opposer of your favor. We silence them. 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 Paul made a powerful statement. From now on, let no man be able to trouble me, for I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus. Every voice of opposition, I go into the realm of the spirit. I cut their tongue. Every voice of opposition, I go into the realm of the spirit. I silence their voice. Every voice of opposition, I go into the realm of the spirit. I shut their mouth. This morning we make declaration into your life wherever you are. Wherever you are, you are listening to me this morning. I prophesy 
a 24 hour season of open heaven. Oh, please say amen with such power. By this time tomorrow breakthrough. By this time tomorrow breakthrough. By this time tomorrow favor. By this time tomorrow testimony. By this time tomorrow healing. By this time tomorrow restoration. By this time tomorrow. The prophet came out and said about this time tomorrow. Price of food will fall. And it was a time when there's even no food. And you say the price will fall. But you see that's the word of God. It reveals it redirects this morning i make a declaration into your life that in the next 24 hours in the cycles of 24 hours for the rest of this year receive a 24 hour turnaround receive a 24 hour favor receive a 24 hour turnaround receive a 24 hour turnaround receive a 24 hour favor receive a 24 hour turnaround in the name of jesus Kayarara. About this time tomorrow, healing. About this time tomorrow, open heaven. About this time tomorrow, favor. About this time tomorrow, testimony. About this time tomorrow. 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 Receive in the name of Jesus. I see a revelation of somebody who has problem with their spine. The bone of their spine and it is from the middle of the back towards the neck getting close to the ne bones of the neck I know names of bones but I can't I don't even remember that of the neck this morning I lay hand on you I command your healing in the name of Jesus I command the healing I take authority I see the person in pain. I command the pain to leave you. Every pain in your spine. I think it's just something so wrong. Maybe the way you sleep or no, I don't know what it is. But I lay hand on you today. We command the burden to leave you. Command your health and healing. Command a total deliverance. We command a total deliverance. Let the joy of the Lord fill you today. Let the hand of the Lord touch you today. Let the joy of the Lord feel you today. Let the hand of the Lord touch you today. Be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I command healing right now for that person's for that, for that person, for that person. There's a person also, every time you climb the step, it is like your leg shakes because the pain from your knee is excruciating. We lay hand on you this morning. We command your healing and health in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Heal, 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 heal. heal. In Jesus' name, there's somebody on the altar. I think it's your chest. I don't know what they will call that. But anytime you take a full breath, it is pain. I don't know what causes it. But when you take a full breath, so you're afraid to take full breath. Heal in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed in the holy name of Jesus. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord Jesus sets you free totally today. Nale Bosha. I see a woman. She's in confusion. It's been a long time. Uh, she stopped being in the way of women menstruating, but then suddenly. And she's saying, what is this? Today we say, peace be still. We command that bleeding to stop. If it is internal, whatever it is, I lay hand on you. And I command your healing today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That's an infection. In, I don't know if you can have infection. But what I see is one, one side of the nose inside. There is infection. And this person is like healthy on one uh, prob trouble in the other. Uh, part of the nostril. So I come, I lay hand on you right now and I speak your healing. 
in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Total health and healing. Nekushaya. There's somebody, something hit you near your eye, near your eye, and it's causing you pain and problem. Be healed this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I make a declaration of increase into your life this morning. Increase, 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 increase. Psalm 71, the Lord will increase my greatness. The Lord who increases you. I make a declaration of increase, increase of favor, increase of joy, increase of blessing, increase of testimony. I make a declaration of increase, 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 increase. My Lord, Osha, I see my spirit, somebody, uh, the Lord said to tell you, you have felt abandoned, lady. You have felt abandoned and rejected and things not working. And you're in a place of just too much struggle. Particularly struggling to raise your children. Struggling to do this. Struggling to do that. But this morning I'm speaking to your life and I prophesy that the place of your struggle will become the place of your testimony will become the place of your favor, will become the place of your glory, the place of your healing, the place of your deliverance, the place of your turnaround, the place of your deliverance, the place of your turnaround, the place of your favor, the place of your breakthrough. Receive, 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 receive. Aladi Kushaya, the place of your turnaround, the place of your favor, the place of your glory, the place of your testimony. This shall be your portion. This morning I speak into your life. I make a declaration that the anointing for breakthrough. The anointing for breakthrough comes upon your life. But listen, wherever you are, you need to know breakthroughs only follow uh, battles. No battle, no breakthrough. Until there was a battle, there was no breakthrough for David. The challenge in the Bible says in the book of Second Samuel, chapter 5, from verse 17, that and when the Philistines heard that David had been anointed king over Israel, all the Philistines came up to seek David. They came to look for him to kill him. All they did hear a rumor that David has been anointed again. David is the only man anointed three times for one throne. The bigger the battles, the bigger the anointing, and the longer your testimony. And David heard of it and went down to the hole. The Philistines also came and spread themselves in the valley of Rephaim. Rephaim is giants. These people, I mean, you are finding yourself in the valley of giants surrounded by enemies. Then David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go to the Philistines? Will you deliver them into my hand? And the Lord said to him, Go up. I would doubtless deliver the Philistines into thine hand. And David came to Baal Perizim. And David smote them there and said, The Lord hath broken forth upon my enemies before me as the breach of waters. Therefore he called the name of the place Master Breakthrough, Baal Perizim. Trenushiaka, Nari Ketoza, Ritoluri Kikapra. I'm speaking to somebody's life today. I make a declaration. May you experience Master Breakthrough. A master key, 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 a master key will be put in your hand. A master key will be delivered to you. A master key will be put in your hands. A master key will be delivered to you. A master key will be put in your hands. A master key to open doors, to experience favor. I like your amen to be powerful. When God gives you a master key, when God gives you a master key, it introduces you. It changes your level. It, it silences the enemy. It shuts the mouth of devils. It gives you reason to celebrate. It puts you in the place of victory. Master Breakthrough. 
that opens on common doors. Master breakthrough that opens on common doors. Master breakthrough that introduces a man, a woman to a place, to a level they have never imagined. Master breakthrough that changes your playing field. Master breakthrough that wipes your tears. Master breakthrough that puts you to the place of celebration. Master breakthrough. Raye keko, ruka keke, riki kuzu, lari bota, rari kezi, rano jundi, tari kuzuru, tari kekuza. Master breakthrough. Receive it this morning, Master Breakthrough. Receive it this morning. The kind that will introduce you and people will say, Wow, God has visited her. God has visited him. Receive in the name of Jesus. I make declaration to your life this morning. I make a declaration into your life this morning. Now you are coming out of every mess. You are coming out of every mess. What is a mess? A trouble. A, a, a disastrous situation. An embarrassing situation, a place of economic challenge, physical challenge, mental challenge. People who are not supposed to look at your face disrespecting you. Ah, that's a mess. This morning, you are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out. I speak into your life. Out of all those kind of situations that you have found yourself, economic mess, financial mess, spiritual mess, total nothing working, I pull you out. The name of Jesus. Yeno Shadi, Rene Kaba, Troki Kezia, Nelushu Kaidi, Redi Kusuluromante, Rano Kusubienta. Zalire Nodorushka, Ridi Korobaridisa, Zaridoka. Thank you, Jesus. This morning, I pull you out. 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 Out of every mess, every situation you found yourself. I pull you out this morning. 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 Financial mess, I pull you out. Physical mess, I pull you out. Relational mess. A relationship that is wrong, that is not going right. I pull you out this morning. People trying to control your life. Jezebel spirit. Je Jezebel spirit. Not a, ma not, not, not a physical human being. It's a spirit. It can be inside a man. A man can, be Jezebel, can carry Jezebel spirit. Because it's a spirit of controlling you. Manipulating you. Dominating you. It can be in a woman. Controlling you, dominating you, manipulating you. We cut you free. Jesus set me free. Why should I be bound? Every spirit of Jezebel. In the Old Testament, it's a woman. In the New Testament, it's a spirit. This day, I sever you from Jezebel's spirit. I cut you from anything that wants to control you. If you don't do this, you're not going to get that. If you don't do this, I won't do this for you. Ah. From today, God will lift you. 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 If you don't do this, I'm not going to bless you. If you don't do that, I'm not going to help you. God will lift you. God will lift you. God will lift you. God will lift you. Irrespective of man, God will lift you. Despite the, the, the programs of man, God will lift you. God will lift you. God will lift you. God will lift you. Nayaresha. Ekorobazikia. Maliki kosorote. Riku Turiba Kazari. Jaliri Makoso Robate. Rita Lombre Kezombre. Jali Rota Rikeko. Raki Kozo Braketeli. Ratoro Reke Zaliri Marotora. Ratoro Kazike Taro Rabarata. Radaridi 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 Ra. Ramatolo Rikirin Taliri Baradi. Rabozo Kayari. Ramateli Renosa. Hika Talaramasha. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. This morning, I prophesy into your life. I speak into your life. 
You are coming out of every fire situation. Just like the three Hebrew men who found themselves in the midst of fire. Ah, the Bible says, though you walk through the waters, they shall not tw or swallow you. Though you walk through the fire, they shall not burn you. I pull you out of that fire. The situation looks like fire, feels like fire. You're saying, what is this? What did I do wrong? I pull you out in the name of Jesus. The God who has answered me every time I've called upon him, I call on him for you this morning. He's bringing you out of that fire. He's bringing you out of that fire. The God who has shown his hand in my life in a mighty way, in awesome ways. Ah! He pulls you out. I pull you out of that fire. I pull you out of that fire. I bring you out. 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 Out of the fire. 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 I bring you out. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Nalesha. Mariketosa. Rinosha Kaye. Out of that fire. I bring you out this morning. Out of that fire, I bring you out this morning in the name of Jesus. Upon this altar, I prophesy into your life. Anyone within the reach of my voice, you are going through financial fire. I quench the fire. You are going through marital fire. I quench the fire. You are going through professional fires. I quench the fire. You are going through opposition fire being set against you by people you trust, people you believe in. I quench the fire. In the name of Jesus, I quench the fire. I silence the enemy. I quench the fire. I silence the enemy. I quench the fire. I silence the enemy. From this morning, the hand of the Lord will be upon you for good. The favor of the Lord will be upon you for good. This morning, I make a declaration into your life that every voice of opposition Ah, that have raised their mouth to speak against you are going to the realm of the spirit. Exodus 11 verse 7. And I cut their tongue. I cut their tongue. I cut their tongue in the name of Jesus. Every voice, every mouth that have risen against your peace, against your joy. And the Bible says, Isaiah 54, 17, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned. We cut their tongue. But against any children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast that you may know the, how the Lord doth put the difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Every dog moving its tongue. Every dog moving its tongue. Every dog moving its tongue. Against your destiny, against your life, we cut the tongue. We silence them in the spirit realm. Karushidia, Karutalizi, Tirukusia, Rikutoloba, Renanidosi, Alibarotosa, Rikutalimakosi, Yanari Tokaba, every dog, every dog, every dog, every dog, every dog, every dog, every dog that moves his tongue against you. We cut their tongue, we cut their tongue, we cut their tongue, we cut their tongue, we cut their, we silence them in the realm of the spirit. We silence them. Na litosu no balikita lirika do do barika zi. Na rito kashika yi parata liru no barike zika yi. Marate ka luko skupra nitala. Ah! They will look for them. They will not find them. They will try to speak. They will not have a voice. They will speak. Their words will fall right before them. It shall have no effect. Every word they've spoken, every cursing, private, public, wherever they spoke it, it shall not stand. If they went to any altar with your name and called your name or your family, your business, your life, ah, heaven will fight them and God will silence them. In the mighty name of Jesus, every tongue that rises in judgment against you this morning, I declare they are silenced. 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 In the name of Jesus. This morning upon this altar, I make a declaration into your life. 
all those failures, last minute failures, failures when you are close to your breakthrough, they come to an end. Failures when you come to so close to your breakthrough, that suddenly something happened again. Failure at the edge of breakthrough comes to an end. Failure at the edge of breakthrough comes to an end. Failure at the edge of breakthrough comes to an end. Failure at the edge of breakthrough comes to an end. Failure at the edge of breakthrough comes to an end. Last minute failure, last minute failure, last minute disappointment comes to an end. It comes to an end. It comes to an end. It comes to an end 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 it comes to an arara he kakaka he shalara have a roro irigariva hiramosa every spirit of disappointment around you Every spirit of this, I chase them out. 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 Every spirit of disappointment, I chase them out. I break their grip. Koramatishia, Zulibarikaya, Malikirutuzo, Rikikarikedi, Rikido, Rabari, Roroza, Hiriva, Hobrai, Higera, Rambrado, Hirava, Kosgeri, Tabrado, Shandili, Varaiki, Taruzi, Ranota, Raroji, Karaba, Vararuzi, Hekirisha, Aranazo, Avaruti, Halikerida, Ravaraduza, Enaridiza, Enaridisho, Karidabuza. Jesus' name. Every voice of opposition. Every voice of opposition that is part of last minute disappointment. We silence them in the realm of the spirit. This morning upon this altar, I prophesy unto your life. <laughs> your voice shall be heard. Your voice shall be heard. In the assembly of those celebrating, your voice shall be heard. In the assembly of those dancing and rejoicing, your voice shall be heard. In the assembly of those giving testimony during these ember months of the move of God, 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 of the move of God. You shall be there. Talikita, Marakita, Tarantuta, Karikita, Rabarikita, Zaliribita, Ranoduta, Elekeriboruko Tilika di Kabariki, Doro Marike di Ridi Rada di Riba, Ranto, Himbra, Hishka, Tabre, Tosa, Hika, Braso, Talati, Kera, Itura, Itera, Yara, Himara, Tarura, Karero, Hikiri, Tarani, Tarano, Tabarano, Hikiarada. Jesus name. Your voice will be heard in the assembly of people who are rejoicing, in the assembly of the people who are giving testimony. Your voice shall be heard in the place where they are giving God a joyful shout. This month is the month of a joyful shout. Shout to the Lord with joy. You are shouting with joy. You are shouting with joy. You are celebrating with joy. You are magnifying God with joy. You are blessing the Lord with joy. This month also will be the month of good news. I prophesy good news into your life in December months. Good news, testimonies, good news. Proverbs 25, 25, as water is to a thirsty man, so is good news from far country. I clean your ears, the ear of your spirit, to hear good news. I clean your ears to hear good news. How lovely on the mountain are the feet of him who brings good news. Men are coming with good news to you. Women are coming to you with good news. People are coming to you with good news. In the name of Jesus, they are coming to you with good news. They are coming to you with good news. In the name of Jesus. They are coming to you with good news. They are coming to you with good news. Good news of breakthrough. <laughs> I just heard it. You know the kind of good news that Saul was given? The donkey you've been looking for has been found. Get ready. 
The favor you've been looking for has been found. The blessing you've been looking for has been found. The breakthrough you've been looking for has been found. Proverbs 25, 25, as water is to a weary soul, so is good news from a distant land. This news is coming to you from distant places, from near places. Men will be looking for you to favor you, to bless you, to help you, to strengthen you, to encourage you in the name of Jesus. Matthew 4, 24, the news about Jesus spread throughout all Syria and they brought to him all who were ill, those suffering with various diseases and pains and demoniacs, epileptics, paralytics, and he healed them. The news about him spread Ha! The news of God in your life, the news of grace, the news of visitation, the news of the power of God in your life will spread. The news of the breakthrough. Ah, those who are waiting to hear bad news about you, they better pack and go and live on Pluto or Mars or Venus. Let the <laughs> For if they live on this planet, they shall hear your news, your good news, your story of testimony, your favor, your blessing. They shall hear good news about you in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Philippians 2.19, Paul said, but I hope in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you soon so that I will hear encouraging news about you. They shall hear encouraging news about you in the name of Jesus. First Thessalonians 3.6, he said, but now that Timothy has come to you, to us from you, when he has his back now, he has brought us good news of your faith and love. First he sent Timothy. Now Timothy came back and said, ah, God is with them. Oh. God is healing. God is doing breakthrough. That is the news they will hear of you. I, tell you, I prophesy. I make this declaration. People who are waiting, what's the latest about her? What's the latest about that place? What's the latest about that church? What's the latest about that man? What's the latest about that uh, crusade? They will hear good news. In the name of Jesus. First Samuel 31 9. They cut off his head and stripped him of his weapon and sent them throughout the land of the Philistines to carry the good news to the house. I speak into their, your life today. They will carry your good news to places. These ones were doing it in the place of evil. But they will carry your good news. They will be the ones carrying your good news. They will carry your good news. They will carry your good news. They will carry your testimony. They will carry your favor. They will carry it round. Good news will break out in your house. Favor will be upon your life. Glory will be upon your life. In the name of Jesus, these declarations I have made into your life today, we seal it with the blood of Jesus. We do not make the declarations in our own power. We make it in the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. And in the name of God the Holy Spirit. We seal these confessions with the seal of God. Now we have great expectations. Great expectations. In Jesus' name. Nomen de Jesus. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. 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 Shadidi Kosora. Jine Kabaro. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We seal the prayer of today 
We seal the one that concerns you. We seal the good news coming with the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. God be the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 A couple of announcements. Share one more prophetic word. And we close for the day. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Tonight, they'll be getting into the word and understanding the power of the seed. The power of the seed. It will really bless you. It will really, really bless you. Tomorrow evening, 7 to 9 p.m., the Wealth Master Class has part seven. Too many people struggling, yet they see the way, but they do not want to pay the price. They do not realize. Remaining in ignorance only denies you of your blessing. Join us in part seven of building multi-generational wealth through properties. Boy, did we have a tremendous time last week, Saturday. This Thursday, which is tomorrow night, will be absolutely awesome at the Wealth Masterclass. It is going to be awesome. It's part seven, just continuing to teach on the multi-generational wealth creation. We did say it's seven parts. I will try and we'll see if we can finish it in this one holding on Thursday night. But you must not miss it. Invest in your own mind. Come out of ignorance. Come out of limitation. Real estate is the only estate that is real. Join me, Matthew Shimolo, for the crusade which we are believing God that there will be an outpouring of grace, an outpouring of favor. In the mighty name of Jesus, souls will be saved, people will be delivered, people will be set free. Awesome things are, get, are happening. As I went two days ago to join about 300 pastors who are already anointing the land. They were anointing the crusade ground and they were taking territory over the whole of Ikurudu kingdom. Glory to God. They were blowing the shofar and anointing the grounds, declaring the word into the land, the miracles, healings, restoration of the church, salvation of souls will take place. I was so moved. They had invited me the first of their coming together. And from there, they will now break into groups about east, 10 groups for the whole of Ikorodu and Igbogbo kingdom. Man, they took the thing serious with their own money. They printed their own prayer points and their own prayer booklet, <laughs> which they shall be declaring to the land. They paid so much price over the years and they believed God that awesome things will happen. So you also join us these 40 days. And as you pray for the move of God there, pray for yourself. Declare things into your life. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord for the favor of God and for the grace of God. These people also, not only did they bless the land, they did something strange I had never seen. About 320 pastors were given something like six, six, or no, three, three or four, four chapters of the Bible, maybe three, three chapters. We read all at the same time for 20 minutes. So which meant that we read the whole Bible. From Genesis to Revelation, 320 of us all reading simultaneously at the same time. We all read the whole Bible. 
I love the passage he gave me initially when I saw Jeremiah. I said, hey, Jeremiah and the long story. Then I came to chapter 8 that says, harvest is past. Summer is ended and we are not saved. I said, what the scripture to have given me is a scripture that has to do with, ah, harvest must not pass. Summer must not end. And the, I mean, the man just randomly took the card and gave me. Also in the same Jeremiah 8, it says, there is a balm in Gilead to make heal sick people. Is there no balm in Gilead to, to heal the sick? So God is bringing the balm of Gilead to the land. Join me, Matthew Ashimolo, during the next, in November, from 6 to 11. Uh, there's going to be an outpouring of grace. We thank God. We're believing God for, from Monday morning, there will be, surgery in the hospital the general hospital god has been generous and good to us uh, it is even now looking like the operations the the surgery will not just be 200 it might just get close to 300 in a six day period that will be a miracle yeah 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 yeah, yeah. goiters will be removed hernias will be removed all kinds of deformities will be corrected then Monday night, we will blow the trumpet in Zion. The Monday night is the first night of the crusade. There will be healings. There will be miracles. There will be salvation of souls. There will be deliverance of people. Tuesday morning, we started distribution. We started distribution. 50,000 bags of rice, 50,000 bags of beans, 50,000 bags of gari oil, buckets. We're now about to add, can you believe this, 30,000 soaps. It's a lot of money. 30,000 soaps. We're about to buy and give this family. We might, we might just give it to 30,000 or 15,000 families. Uh, if we give 15,000 families, it might just last them for like, uh, who knows, two weeks, one month. We want to be able to shake the city for God. We are renting about 20 buses that will go into the villages every day and bring people to the, to the crusade. We want the city to know we have come. We want the place to know we are come. From Wednesday, October the 3rd or 4th, we'll be in 10 newspapers, we'll be on four radio stations, we'll be on three or four TV stations, and put out more billboards, more flyers. The boxes you are looking at right now are public address systems. We bought 151 to give evangelists. So when the crusade, when the crusade is over and the pastors' conference is over, because we're going to be having two-day pastors' conference, we give all this to evangelists. One fifty-one of it to evangelists. So that the crusade is over, the ministration continues. We have ten thousand buckets that will put in the hand of women. Uh, please pray for us. That this will be one awesome one. 24,000 exercise books that will give young kids. We'll also give children clothing. We'll give men clothing. We'll give women uh, cloth to go and sew. New cloth. That's my target for the women. New cloth. For the women to go and sew. Well, we have 15,000 now. I'm beginning to think that one, we should add another 5,000. So we should have 20,000 new cloths for the women to go and sew. The Lord has been good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you. Big thank you to all those who have already responded to our appeals. We celebrate you. We bless the Lord for you. We continue to speak blessings on your life. We speak favors on your life. In the name of Jesus. You can give towards the crusade. 
There are phases of our event that are still extremely expensive. Renting the 20 buses. Can you believe we are renting it from the, from the state government? And their price is no play, man. We tried to get some discounts, but uh, not easy. TV advertising, radio advertising, this part of the world is very expensive, but people need to hear so that on the right persons are pulled by the Holy Ghost to the crusade. I want you, wherever you are, to please pray, 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 that God will just prompt unsaved people to pour in from every corner. I don't want Christians to come and hoard the place collect all the goodies and go to their house. I want unsaved people. That's the purpose. We want to see 10,000 souls born again. 10,000 souls born again. Please lift everybody who's coming to the crusade in prayer for protection, traveling safe, preservation, blessings on their life. Please raise the crusade that Natural elements like rain will not disrupt. We want to believe God for the six days of the crusade that there will be no rain. 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 But it will be days of favor. Let the sun overshine. Let's cover our head with caps. But no rain. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. But to believe God for his move, for his outstretched hand. We want to see souls saved, souls saved, souls saved. We want to pray for the contractors doing all the various works, the road, the stadium, that they'll truly complete everything. And the place will be ready. And the name of the Lord will be glorified. The town is already rejoicing and celebrating that uh, God has brought us at a time like this. I celebrate each one of you for your commitment. Some of you, you've gone extra, extra, extra mile. May the Lord favor you. I've even seen people do it again and do it again who felt led a second time, a third time. The Lord bless you and prosper you in Jesus' name. Psalm 121 verse 5 to 8 is what we close with today. Again, we celebrate my wife, Pastor Yemisi, whose birthday it is today, we bless the Lord for how we give God praise for preservation, for blessing, for grace, for the hand of God. We thank God this year. Uh, I don't want to mention her age. Uh, you can go on Google and find that for yourself. But she doesn't look her age. And it's the grace of God and the blessing of God. And Pastor Matthew's money. Jesus, man. <laughs> to God be all glory. To God be the glory for his favor. And he who began a good work in her will continue it until the day of Jesus Christ. The name of the Lord will always be favored and always celebrated. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Psalm 121 verse 5 to 8. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. May the shade of God's peace provide relief for you from every stress and strain. May every element of nature walk in your favor. The sun, the moon, the stars, the earth, the sea, the wind, the rains will all walk to your advantage. God will preserve you from evil. You will go out in peace, return in peace. No evil will befall you. No danger comes near your dwelling place in the name of Jesus. Be blessed at all times. In Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. God bless you richly today. Kaidu. Vubenis, Diosteben Diga, Diosteben Soy, Buana Kubariki, Yibarikesh. I can only greet women in, in uh, Amharic, in Ethiopian, Yibarikesh. I wish I knew how to greet the men too. Uh, 
Ya Mishra, ya Mishra wae. Mwariva kukumbrere, uomuzita la Yesu, unkulunkulu, agubusesi. Good morning, saubona. God bless. The biggest compassionate outreach ever in Africa is here. Ikorudu, Igogo, and Lagos get ready to experience six days of Christ's love and compassion and the outpouring of God's power at the Christ Compassion Crusade 2023, a non-denominational crusade and community support initiative. Over 50,000 bags of rice, 50,000 bags of beans, 50,000 bags of gari, 10,000 bottles of cooking oil, 25,000 school books, 25,000 quality children's clothing, 15,000 colorful and kara materials, 5,000 reading glasses, and lots more, all ready to be distributed to everyone. Come and receive miraculous healings, total deliverance, divine breakthroughs, free food support for families, free surgery for over 200 people, and free medical fare. Date 6 to 11 November 2023. Venue Igogo Stadium, Igorodu, Lagos. Time 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. daily for distribution of support items. 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. daily for the Miracle Crusade. Join Pastor Matthew Ashimolo and other great men of God and ministers to bring God's kingdom on the earth. For partnership, sponsorship and volunteer, visit www.ccrwfoundation.org or call 0704-800-0341. This event is supported by all churches and denominations and powered by Pastor Matthew Ashimolo and Christ Compassion to the Rural World Foundation. Be 